Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. My name is Garrett Campbell. Today's video, we're going to be doing a more simplified version of a drug we covered in the past known as citalopram or Celexa. We're starting right now. So to start this presentation, we'll discuss what this medication is really used for. So citalopram treats depression. In one of our more recent videos, we talked about the medication Escitalopram, which also treats anxiety. Just keep in mind, Escitalopram treats depression and anxiety, while just citalopram treats depression. Now how to use this medication? Well first off, take your medicine as directed. You may need to take it for a month or more before you feel better. Your dose may need to change to find what works best for you. And this medicine should come with a medication guide. So if you did not receive one when receiving your prescription, just make sure you ask your pharmacist for it and they should be able to provide you with one. It's great to read up on these to keep up to date on your medication and really have a good idea of how to use it and some warnings associated with it. What happens if you miss a dose? Well, take a dose as soon as you remember, but if it is almost time for your next dose, wait until then and take a regular dose. Do not take extra medicine to make up for a missed dose. We'll now discuss some warnings associated with this talopram. So first, tell your doctor if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or if you have kidney disease, liver disease, glaucoma, bleeding problems, heart disease, or a seizure disorder. For some children, teenagers, and young adults, this medicine may increase mental or emotional problems. This may lead to thoughts of suicide and violence. Talk with your doctor right away if you have any thoughts or behaviors that concern you. This medication may cause the following problems, so serotonin syndrome. This would be more likely if you were also using other medications that also affect serotonin. An increased risk of bleeding problems, low sodium levels, or heart rhythm problems. This medicine may make you drowsy or dizzy, so do not drive or do anything that could be dangerous until you know how the medicine makes you feel. Tell your doctor if you or anyone in your family has a history of bipolar disorder heart rhythm problems such as QT prolongation or a slow heartbeat, or a recent heart attack. Do not stop this medicine suddenly. Your doctor will need to slowly decrease your dose before you stop completely. Your doctor will check your progress and the effects of the medicine at regular visits, so be sure to keep all of your appointments and get, get blood work done as necessary. Now in terms of side effects, for these side effects listed here, you would want to call your doctor right away or go see your physician if you were to experience any of these. So the first one would be an allergic reaction, so that could be itching or hives, swelling in your face or hands, swelling or tingling in your mouth or throat, chest tightness or trouble breathing. If you have anxiety, restlessness, fever, sweating, muscle spasms, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea or seeing or hearing things that aren't there, these signs, when they appear together, could be a sign of serotonin syndrome appearing. You would want to see your physician right away. If you have confusion, weakness, and muscle twitching, eye pain, vision changes, seeing halos around lights. If you're feeling more excited or energetic than usual, raising thoughts or trouble sleeping, this could be signs of hypomania or even that you're being pushed into mania by the medication. Call your doctor right away if you have seizures or unusual bleeding or bruising. If you have lightheadedness, dizziness, or fainting. Thoughts of hurting yourself or others. Or painful, prolonged directions. Now for these side effects here, you just want to talk with your doctor at your next appointment. Or you could talk to your pharmacist when you're picking up your next prescription. But these ones would not be an emergency by any means. So drowsiness or sleepiness. Dry mouth. A headache decreased appetite or weight loss, and sexual problems. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with Citalopram or Celexa. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable, you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Have for today, take care.